birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. All right. It'll start sparking in a minute. Okay. It's a sparkler. Oh, wow, great. <laughs> You have to blow it out eventually so we can eat the cake. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna want, enjoy it. I just have all this yarn in my bathroom. <laughs> Which feels a little bit like the beginning of a confessional, but it's because I'm unpacking my suitcase from Portland. And I wanted to show you what I got. Basically all spin cycle, because Karen at the Naughty Lamb set my trunk show up next to, it actually not even next to, in between the spin cycle rounders. <sighs> I'm addicted without being in proximity of it, but when I am in the store and you get to pick like the exact skeins that you want in person, <sighs> done. Um, so I have been obsessed with the, I think it's called Diamonds Sweater, but I liked it a couple of years ago when it came out. But recently I saw, um, I think it's Miss Lulabelle or Little Lulabelle on Instagram. She knit one that was unicorn and a purple, either bruised ego or overpasses or something. So it was pinks and purples. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I was trying to like use stash for as much as possible, but one of the colors needs five. And I only have one color that I have five of. And really it's the best color. Color so nice. This was a um, Lola Bean and Spin Cycle collab. And I picked, um, when Adela listed it, I asked her to pick out the pinkest skeins for me and I got five of them. So I got those and I picked out this color to go with it. This is Rusted Rainbow, but it is a very purpley and gold version of Rusted Rainbow. Um, it's a lot of like plums and that caramel gold color. And I just loved this particular batch of it. And so I think that that's really great, fun con contrast. I think I like it. And then I got one skein of Ranunculus. Now I have Ranunculus, but this skein of it is like the muted blendy version of it. The skeins that I have here at home are like mostly this bright purple color. So the fact that this it was just so unique, I had to get it. And then this was a new color that I don't have any of. And again, these particular skeins called out to me because they were very extra barber poly and blendy. And it was like a really good mix of all the colors. And this is Sex on the Beach. And here's what's interesting is they have recently changed to these labels. And this is like an older batch of it but I think they coordinate quite nicely. Um, they just both have that same sort of look to them. And the trunk show that was there 
the day that I got there um, was Coast to Coast yarn. And I got this color called Dark Academia. This is on 100% untreated extra fine merino, 437 yards. And it, so it's a non superwash. And look at the colors in this. This is like a plummy, purpley brown and a golden brown and like some reddish brown in here. It's, oh, it's so good. So I have one skein and I need to decide on like a shawl or maybe a hat or something that's just super cozy. I don't know. It's so good. So good. And this is my first yarn from Coast to Coast. So that's exciting. Welcome to the Suburban Stitcher channel. My name is Diane. Um, I can be found as Suburban Stitcher on Instagram, um, DBB Stitch on Ravelry for those that are able to use Ravelry. And I also have a hand dyed yarn business where um, you can buy hand dyed yarn. And other goodies sometimes and that's at suburbanstitcher.com um, it has been quite a little while since i've chatted with you and i thought that i would just give you an update on some things that are going on i feel like i have finally been able to take a breath after a very busy fall and winter and then spring and we are now halfway through may i can't believe it um yeah, we're halfway through May and it's just time is zooming by and um, it's just hard to believe. Um, anyway, I have been to Portland for the Rose City Yarn Crawl since the last time we spoke and um, this little cowl, which is the Drawn Together Cowl by Shana Lines Designs. Um, it is a um, gender neutral cowl, DK weight yarn, and then the drawstring is like a scrap or a mini skein of sock yarn. And it is just the most pleasurable knit. I love a good cowl, and this to me is like the perfect weight and drape and warmth. I used it a lot when I was in Portland because it was quite snowy and um, yes, <laughs> so I can't even remember the last time I recorded. I don't know if I've said that, shown that, I'm not sure, 
but I saw it in my room and I wanted to show you. Um, I have also finished in the last month or so, I finished this um, shawl. It is called the Study Hall Shawl by Sarah Shira. And she is Imagine Landscapes. Um, she is very well known for her gnome designs. And this is a shawl pattern by her. And I used some very precious, coveted, hoarded, hand spun that I purchased from um, a Thing for String. And she, I don't know that she vends at DFW Fiberfest anymore, but her website is a thing for string um, dot big cartel dot com, I believe. I will try to remember to link it in the um, in the little box below. But yeah, I used two skeins of hand spun, and this was just a very pleasurable knit. Garter stitch, mosaic, some texture and done. I mean, that it was just so lovely to knit and the hand spun itself is very light and drapey. So this made just an absolute stunning shawl. And then I am working on these days. I am nearly done, I believe. I think I have maybe, I don't know, 15 or so more rows, 15 to 20 ish more rows, but I am working on the DRK Everyday Cowl. And so I'm knitting it this way, but it will be seamed and worn and it will show like this. Um, I am using this skein of Suburban Stitcher DK in the demure colorway that I salvaged from a sweater a while ago. And I say salvaged, I had started a sweater that I ripped out. <laughs> and um, so this is demure on Merino DK. It's a very, very, very pale pink. And the um, other yarn is Spin Cycle Dream State in the Ghost Ranch colorway. And oh my gosh, it is, it's so dreamy looking with this. And I absolutely love this last little section that I've been working on almost made like a kind of a rainbow. And I just love that. I think it's really cool because that's gonna be in the part that is like the big section right here in the front. And oh, I love it. So this has been very fun. Just very great. Pick it up, don't have to think too much. Knit a little bit, put it down. No pressure knitting. Um, I did start one other thing a month or two ago and I mean, have I worked on it in six weeks? No. Um, I think I worked on it like over a three or four day period quite a lot and Unfortunately, I really haven't picked it up since then. So I need to get on that. But um, it is the Moon Moon Bumps. Moon Bumps Shawl by Max the Knitter. Um, I am using one skein of undyed, it's a, a yak silk single ply lace weight that I have. Um, I used to dye, I dyed a couple times I have dyed on this base and lace weight just is not a very big seller in my shop. So I don't, I had some that was just, you know, me having some left over. And I paired it with the um, recommended, geez, the recommended yarn for this is, um, I think it's Fua Fua by, um, Moon, Moon Drake? Why am I losing all my words? I, yeah, Moon Drake. It's got to be Moon Drake. Um, anyway, her cashmere silk. Um, it's a, I would say a light fingering heavy lace weight. Heavy lace weight. And the um, pattern calls for this to be held double. 
So you would need four skeins of this and it is quite an expensive skein of yarn. Um, I purchased two skeins from the Modern Skein in Montgomery when they were having a trunk show with Moondrake um, back in March. And I wasn't able to go, but I ordered this off the website as part of the weekend trunk show. And it's a really pretty kind of spearminty green color. And I had recently seen a shawl out in person. I saw it in person, but it's in the worsted book by Lobby and May. And the background of, or like the main color of the shawl was like a gray and a mint that was held together. And I could not get that combo out of my brain. And so I thought, well, that's the way that I can get the feel of the shawl with the cashmere, but at a lower price point. So I am using the Yak Silk Undyed that I had in stock and paired it with the Fua Fua. And then the Spin Cycle color that I'm using is called Afternoon Delight. And I just loved this green, this green, blue, teal kind of moment here. So it's very fun to knit. I just haven't picked it up because I have been doing other things. Imagine that. Oh, I do have one other thing that I have to show you. The thing that's probably been taking up the most of my, when I have time to knit, my knitting time, um, just on and off throughout since January 1st is my temperature wrap. Um, it's called Climate Change Wrap and it is by Soraya Hussein. I am consistently about a week behind, be, and I say behind, but not really, just because my particular preferred method now that I'm four and a half months into this is to accrue like six or seven days five or six days, something like that, a handful of days, and then kind of sit down, pull those yarns and do those all at once, um, rather than little bits every day. Um, it just seems to be an easier method for me to do a handful of days at once. So I keep track of the weather in my calendar and then I do this. But this is it so far. Um, I will be I'm knotting these ends and I'm just going to be cutting them short and having these little fringes on the side. It doesn't bother me at all that they're on different sides um, because actually this will be the end section in December and so it will end on this and that's fine. And if I decide it bothers me, I can make a fringe after the fact. But this is it. Um, I She writes in where you can add crystals on special days. And I have been doing that for birthdays and anniversaries and special moments um, that I want to remember. Um, all of my notes are in my Ravelry page for that. But yeah, this is it so far, I really love it. Um, you can see some of these, we're starting to get much warmer here and so this, like these pinks and peaches. And then as we get to these dark purples here, um, dark reddish maroony purples, those are the warm days. So yeah, I this is really fun. I love it. It's just enough knitting and every month the texture changes and that's really fun. So that is my knitting. In the shop. Um, we have advent calendars in the shop right now. Um, I started selling them, I believe, April 1st, and I'm offering already sold and offering way more this year than I've ever offered in the past, literal hundreds of advent calendars. <laughs> and um, I'm so excited. The theme this year is I am dreaming of a pink Christmas Every single skein will be pink or have pink in it 
or be predominantly pink. Um, there is no guarantee on if it is neons or not neons or brights or pales or what I can tell you is that any of those are fair game, whether it's pale, saturated, warms, cools, it's all pink. And so if you like pink and you pretty much like any kind of pink, then I think you'll be happy. <laughs> and the goodies this year um, go with, they will be things that will help you to complete your shawl that is a brand new pattern that will be designed by um, Telly Bean Knits. She designed the shawl last year. And so we're gonna do that again. I'm so excited. She loves pink, I love pink. It is a pink palooza and we are here for it. So there are still a handful of those in the shop. There are no more on the um, Stellina glitter Stellina base, but there are still, I say plenty because it, it's a good amount, but um, I'm getting to the point where I will quickly be having to cut that off. So if you are interested in the advent calendar, I would say go ahead and um, take a look, decide if you wanna purchase it, and then um, make that decision as quick as you can because I will have to start dyeing them probably starting in June, so a few more weeks. Um, I have, I just did a trunk show a few weeks ago in uh, Dripping Springs outside of Austin, and I loaded up a bunch of yarn that I brought back from that trunk show. So here are some things that are in stock, ready to ship in pretty decent quantities. Um, I have some third, this is, let's say this is all on sock unless I specify. Um, 30A, which it's coming up on summertime, like this is just my favorite. And then also, there are a few of these. This is called Beneath the Surface. This was a Shark Week skein um, from Knitty Natty's Knit Along a couple of years ago. I want to say 2011, I think, 2011. Um, but Beneath the Surface. So those are good kind of summery, beachy colors. This is a new color that I did for the Rose City Yarn Crawl. It's called Nightlife. I have that one on DK. So here's sock, here's DK. And this is it on Surrey. Look how moody it got, I love it. This color has browns and kind of toffee, caramelly colors and foresty greens and some blues, like very slate watery blue. And then with speckles of brown and hot pink and gold. It's just a super fun color. And then the other new color for the Rose City Yarn Crawl is called Pop Star. I have it on Sock, DK, and Surrey. And it might be my favorite on Surrey. <laughs> it's so good. So, so good. Um, I think this would make an amazing sweater or this even held with a solid and you would just get like a hint of the colors, it would be stunning. Um, this one is kind of a mauve like a barely there warmish pink background with speckles of a bright turquoise blue, a hot pink, and some like bronzy gold, a little bit of orange. Um, that's a really good kind of representation of the speckles. So that's Popstar. Um, I restocked Marshmallow, which was a fall color. I restocked some Glamping, which was a fall color. I put in some Jungle, which is a fun. It has these multi colors of green with blue and neon yellow speckles. Um, so I have that. I have Strawberry Shortcake as a new color. And it's just these warm pinks with orange and green and pink speckles. And there are two dye lots of this one. So in the listing, make sure that you check the light or the dark if you're interested in that color. And then I believe by the time this goes live, it will be in the shop. 
but I will be putting pre-orders for the yarn that was in the birthday box. I got such amazing feedback <laughs> about these birthday boxes and that just warms my heart so much because I really put a lot of energy and just trying to make sure that I curate a theme and products that y'all will love and enjoy and that it feels that every item feels like something that you would have chosen and doesn't just feel like a freebie. Um, because to be honest, the inclusions are sometimes even better in my opinion than the yarn. <laughs> this year, um, we had some amazing makers collaborate with me. Um, Black Pearl Magic, we had some bags, some sock size bags from her. I don't even have one to show. I sold all of them. They are all gone. Um, I will say that look to the future because um, we will be doing something for DFW in the fall. So if you enjoyed the Black Pearl Magic suburban stitcher aesthetic, <laughs> then keep your eyes peeled. Um, so we had a Black Pearl Magic bag. We had a ruler, and I'll show you here because I can show you the little inclusions that were in the bag. Um, we have a, we had a ruler. This is from Twin Mountain, Twin Mountain Handcrafts. I'm gonna have to tag it and make sure I get their name right. Um, the theme for this box was iridescent dreams, and so everything was iridescent, pearlescent, shiny, opal-y. <laughs> just that like iridescent vibe and so this was with an iridescent um what is this acrylic <laughs> um iridescent acrylic and it has suburban stitcher with my logo on there there were some iridescent of the floral logos there were a set of shiny iridescent and gold stitch markers that were all made by me. I had the most fun making these. I absolutely love them. And they are on snag-free um, soldered rings. So um, yeah, I love them. I love, they're just like pretty and kind of dainty. I love them. Um, everyone got a iridescent sugar coffee swizzle and some fun little stickers. And this last inclusion item is maybe one of my favorite. Um, it's a little ring slash stitch marker dish. It is porcelain that has been glazed with a custom, um, I say custom, I mean like she makes them. They're her own creations out of her brain um, with a glaze and then hand painted 24 karat gold. Um, so they're not microwavable, don't put them in the microwave. <laughs> they probably are food safe if you hand washed it, but you cannot microwave them. Um, ask me how I know from my mugs from her. Um, but this maker is Apricity Ceramics. Um, and I just, her stuff is so beautiful. Her aesthetic is exactly my aesthetic and this is the perfect little thing i keep it right here on this tray on my kitchen table because i sit here quite a lot to sit and knit and i just keep a few little i don't know if that will show a few little stitch markers in this little dish right here so that when i'm sitting and knitting i have my things that i need right here um, and it's beautiful which is I just think life is too short not to have beautiful notions and beautiful things. So yes, um, that is, that was the inclusions. Now the yarn, there was a sock set option. And I would say the star color this year is this color. This was actually the darkest one of the fade and it's called iridescent. It is an iridescent-y, purpley, pink, 
sea foamy green. It's that like all those colors that when you move an iridescent piece of paper or fabric that you get that like shimmer. Um, and then I included in the sock set a pink and a purple mini skein. And then for those that got the fade, there is iridescent, which is the darkest one. This is called shimmering and it's a medium toned, same colors, um, the purple and the green and the pink, but a little bit lighter. And then the lightest one in the fade is called opalescent. So this is the birthday box 2023 fade. And here was the sock set. And I'm going to have pre-orders for both on the website for the yarn. And then I will also have a very limited number. I think it's like eight or something, maybe eight or 10 around um, of these where you will get the stitch marker and the stitch markers and the stickers and the ruler and the porcelain dish with the heart and all the other little goodies. Um, and like I said, there's about eight or 10 of those and those will be ready to ship. But if you order, of course, with a pre-order item, it will all ship together. Um, so yeah, so that is, that's what's happening here. We've got lots of yarn. I am developing, working on developing the I'm Dreaming of a Pink Christmas Advent Colors. Um, kind of last week and this week, that's my project. Um, it is quite a lot of brain space <laughs> to create new colors and creating 25 new colors in a short amount of time that very specifically have to work together fading and all look good together for one project and going in. It's, it is like a brain. I just work so hard to make sure that it's good. And so that is kind of an exhausting, <laughs> an exhausting creative process. Um, also dying fade club, which will ship beginning of next week. So yeah, um, I can't think of anything else, but I will just put little videos in here and there of things that have been happening over the last few months. Um, I'm watching the birds right now. I have a new bird feeder in my backyard and every day we have, I will say dozens of birds in our yard and they are all jumping around. There are maybe 10 right now. We have one, two cardinals, a male and a female cardinal and two pairs of doves and let's see maybe four or five little finches or swallows i can't see from here i don't have my glasses but i'm just all jumping around under the feeder to get the seeds that have fallen and ah, there's something about it they just make me so happy every day um yeah my little bitty yard but i just love seeing the birds um I think that's it. I hope you have a lovely day, week, or however long until I see you again. <laughs> Bye.